Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you're having a good Sunday. My name is John and I'm one of the team who leads the church and I also lead the worship here. Do you know what we're talking about today? Maybe you can remember what we talked about last week. Go on, shout it out for us. That's right, we're talking about church. What's your favourite thing about coming to church? Maybe it's seeing your friends or playing games or singing and music or even getting to see your kids' leaders. What is it for you? What's your favourite thing about coming to church? Shout it out for a second now. Let me hear you. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Today, we're going to be looking at something that we do when we come to church. Can you guess what it is? It involves some of these and some of these and some of these too. Any guesses yet? Yeah, that's right. We're talking about worship. More specifically, we're talking about why worshipping together is so important. Worship is when we thank God for who he is and for what he's done. There are lots of different things that God is. He is love and joy and peace and hope. What else is God like? You know, he might, he's like our heavenly father, right? And so we want to say thank you to God for who he is. If your friend was kind to you, you would say, thank you for being kind. And we can say that to God too. God has also done lots of amazing things, hasn't he? He created us. He died for us on the cross and he helps us every day. And so we can say thank you to God for all of that too. So that's what worship is. But why is it good to worship with other people? For the past two years, we weren't able to worship with other people. And I found that really difficult because I love the feeling and the sound of lots of people all singing to God and saying thank you to him. I'm so glad that we can do that now. Have you ever done a stadium wave? Maybe you've seen one. You see a group of people all jump up and wave their arms and then the people next to them do it and the people next to them do it until it goes all the way around the stadium. Are you watching with anyone else right now? Is there anyone else with you? Let's do this stadium wave together, okay? So why don't you try it with me? We'll start from this side and we'll go to this side. One after the other, you can jump up from where you're sitting, jump as high as you can and wave your arms as high as you can, okay? Are you ready? We're gonna do it on the count of three, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, go! Oh, hey, that was awesome. Let's do that again. One, two, three, go! Oh, guys, great job. Was that fun? You can have a sit down again now. Well, that's a bit like worship. Since God created the world, and even before that, there has been this wave of worship that has been going on as everything and everyone has been worshipping God. The Bible says that oceans, animals, even the stones worship God, and we are part of that. When we say thank you to God, we are joining with hundreds and thousands and millions of other people and things that are also saying thank you to God too. And the best bit is that it's going to go on forever and ever 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 and ever. You see, in heaven, everything is already singing and dancing and shouting and bowing down to say the biggest thank you to God. So when we come to church and join with other people to say thank you to God now, we are joining in with that really big thank you. Really, it's what we're made for. God made you so that you could learn about him and scream at the top of your lungs, thank you, God. So can you remember why we say thank you to God? We say it because he is loving and kind and good and because he's done so much for us. And we can say thank you to God in many different ways. We can sing or we can play an instrument or we can dance and use our bodies. We can chat with him and tell him what we want to thank him for. And we can even say thank you to God by being kind to our friends and family and teachers. Worship and saying thank you to God doesn't just have to happen all on a Sunday. You can do it all throughout the week. How could you say thank you to God this week? So right now, we're going to sing a, a sing a worship song. And I'd love to encourage you to use that to say thank you to God. How do you feel that you want to say thank you to God now? Let's stand up together just to show God that we're ready to meet with him. And you might want to close your eyes so that you're not distracted by other things that are happening around you. And you might even want to put your hands out to say to God that, that you're ready to receive a gift from him as you worship, as you say thank you to him. So I'm going to pray. And then we can sing this song of worship together and say a really big thank you to God. Father God, thank you for who you are and for all that you've done. We want to say thank you to you now. 
We worship you. Let's sing this song together. Yes, Lord. 